I have helped thousands of people get their homes ready to sell and I know exactly what it takes in order for you to sell your home for a lot of money and fast. But I want to make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to show you something that no other real estate agent is talking to you about. Hey, it's me, Katie. I had a seller who actually called me probably about three years before they decided they were going to move and their house was not in great condition. They needed a lot of new windows. They had deferred maintenance. Their kitchen was old. They just didn't know what they needed to do in order to get their home ready to sell. So they reached out to me three years prior to moving. Now agents, I will tell you, most of the time are willing to come into your house years early, even if you're not ready to sell. And so many of you watching this channel, all of you people who have asked me for an agent who want an agent to come over to your house, it's not about just selling you. It's about talking to you about getting your home ready to sell. And so I want you to start thinking about your agent as your partner. That's really important. So these people had reached out to me early and they said, we want you to come over and we want you to tell us what we need to do. If somebody calls me right before they go on the market and they say, what do we need to do? It could be incredibly expensive to get their home ready to sell fast and for a lot of money. So when they decided they were going to go on the market, they were fully prepared. Their house had been completely done. They knew the price it needed to be. And when we went on the market, it sold for multiple offers over list price. And this was in a down market. This was not a super hot market. And the level of their stress was so low that it was just such a manageable and wonderful experience for them. But that is because they planned early. So I'm going to talk to you about how to sell for the most amount of money and sell fast. But one thing that you may not be recognizing is how to save your sanity, how to make sure you are not stressed when you sell for a lot of money and fast. So the first thing you need to start planning early. It truly is not too early. And if you are watching this video, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. You are starting to plan. Now this process, I say it is traumatic. It is mainly traumatic for sellers who have not been planning over the course of their home ownership. And so really, truly, if you're watching this channel, I want to make sure that you are subscribing to it because I don't want you to miss all the stuff that I'm going to be talking about to make sure you're a profitable homeowner in the future. The second thing I want you to think about is you need to go through the house and fix all of the deferred maintenance. I mean, when your house goes on the market, it needs to look fresh. It needs to look crisp. It needs to look sharp and it needs to look clean. And this is stuff you can't just do in one month, two months, or three months. It needs to be done over time. As I've talked to you about, I have a link below that where you can download my seller's playbook. And that is going to give you all of the information about what you need to be updating early, what you shouldn't update early. Because if you choose wrong, I'm telling you, you are going to waste a lot of money. It's going to be super expensive and you may not get the return on investment. And that seller's playbook below, I promise will help you understand kind of the ideas on what you need to update right now versus what you shouldn't update at all. I said this earlier, you need to talk to an agent early. You have to get guidance. You have to get advice as early as possible. I don't want you just to think of that agent as a salesperson. While yes, we are salespeople, we are also consultants and we do this all of the time. So why not? Take somebody up on coming to your home to make sure you are making the right upgrades when you sell. That agent will help you. Again, if you need an agent, I've got a link below. I have a network of agents across the whole country I certainly can refer you to. I also want you to figure out where you're going to go because if you cannot find a place to go to, you should not be listing your home. So you have to start looking early. And now what I want to talk to you about is the stress spectrum. While I've given you the quick down and dirty things that you need to do in order to sell your home for more money and fast, I want to talk to you about the stress spectrum. This is all about selling your home for a high price versus the stress. And many people do not understand the stress that comes with selling your home. And so I have actually created this graphic for you to understand. All right. So here is the seller stress spectrum, and I'm going to show you the four quadrants. First, we have level one, no stress. Level two, some stress. Level three, lots of stress. And level four, trauma. Now that I've shown you these, I want you to kind of pick an area that you are okay in. So if you're okay in trauma, then I want you to pick that. If you're okay in lots of stress, then pick that. But if you're feeling like you need a stress-free experience, I want you to pick quadrant one or quadrant two. Now I want you to decide, are you the type of person who has to sell 
for the most amount of money. And I mean over market value. Are you thinking I'm going to sell above market value? I don't care what anybody else tells me. I am selling above market value. Is that you? Or are you maybe indifferent to price? Now, when I say indifferent to price, I mean somebody who maybe has an estate, they have an inherited property, or they just really are maybe having trouble getting the house ready. So I want you to decide, are you willing to sell for less than maybe market value? Or do you have to sell for more than market value? Then I want you to decide this. Are you putting out no money and no preparation to get your house ready? Or are you putting out a lot of money and you're spending a lot of time getting the house ready? Okay. Have you decided a lot of money, no money, a lot of prep, no prep. Let me show you the whole chart. Now I want you to look at what do you want your level of stress to be? And if you want low stress, you might have to give on the price. Now, if you're thinking, I can't have trauma, then you can't be selling probably above market value. Stress and price are completely tied into each other. So the more money that you want to sell over market value, most likely the higher stress you are going to have. So now when I say to you, you want to sell for a lot of money and you want to sell fast, you cannot discount the amount of stress that comes into your life because stress is worth money. Stress is worth money. How much is it worth to you? Do you need every dollar or do you want every dollar? Are you somebody who doesn't like a lot of stress or who's able to tolerate a lot of stress, a lot of project management? If so, I want you to make sure you know where are you going to fall on the stress spectrum. 